Hello and welcome to Lyric Hi-Fi. Um, for context, here we are, it's January 2021, Happy New Year. It's a Sunday afternoon so that the phones don't ring in the shop. A uh, good point in this actually, questions from other videos were along, some people asked, are you a shop, can I buy things? And the answer to that was, oh God, yes, of course you can. So anything that you see here, we can sell you as well. So welcome to Lyric Hi-Fi. Today we're gonna to talk about subwoofers. And um, the subwoofer is something that we've been selling for many years, but over the years they've changed so much. And the reason for doing this is there is a new subwoofer has just been announced, which uh, is quite groundbreaking. That's why I thought an overview of sound uh, from subwoofers is really important. So subwoofers are uh, always used in surround sound systems, in your 5.1 system, your five channels and a subwoofer. And in that, you've got a dedicated subwoofer channel and all it has to do is reproduce that. So that's great, no problem, dead easy. But when it comes to stereo and subwoofers, that's more difficult. Lots of times I would be saying to people, don't buy a subwoofer, buy a bigger pair of speakers that can move more air. Because the problem is, about the sound coming from one place and another. The amplifiers having different rise times so the dynamics are all wrong and all sounds out of time. And so there's lots of things can go wrong with doing a subwoofer in a stereo system. The new subwoofer I'm talking about in certain stereo systems will be fantastic and will work in a stereo system. Um, whenever you talk about subs that work in, in stereo systems over the years, people like Lynn have done ones where the amplifiers match the amplifiers in their stereo systems. And then they have a thing called uh, an exact system. And the exact system has got um, uh, a crossover in the digital domain. And it means that that crossover will feed equally what's going to a subwoofer unit and the main speakers. So that's a very clever way of doing it, but it's also an extremely expensive way of doing it. So I wonder how we look at where subwoofers have come from, and that's why I'm actually sitting on a subwoofer and have a few subwoofers beside me here to show you what it's all about. Uh, this subwoofer I'm sitting on is obviously a complete monster. That's an 18 inch bass unit and a thousand watt amplifier. It's made by KEF and it was originally came to the market in the uh, early 2000s. So the design is probably about 15 years old um, and a massive, massive subwoofer uh, drive unit at this can move quite a lot of air even with a small movement. Um, the drawback about something like this is it also weighs enough that you're not going to lift it by yourself. Um, and whenever it was new, this cost £8,000. So that's a very expensive way to make uh, some low frequency noise. But it's quite cool uh, if you've got room for it, even though it's massive. So if we go to the other end here, so this big box here is a subwoofer from an American company called Velodyne, who are very famous for subwoofers because that's all they make. Kef make lots of stuff. These guys just make subwoofers. And this one, uh, if I can get the grill off, is a 15 inch with a 500 watt amplifier built in. But this kind of thing, there's a couple of versions of, can be anywhere from 800 pounds to about 1200 pounds. So not a massive amount of money compared to this kind of thing. But last year, KEF did something that was pretty groundbreaking because they've been working on slimmer subwoofers. So this little one here, 500 watts, drive unit that can face front or side. So it's very, very slim. And that is only about 600 pounds, a 10 inch unit and works really well. We would use a lot of those in surround sound systems, but they're not high end and all of these are designed to go with uh, sorry, these could sound with surround sound systems rather than stereo. Now this one is where it starts to become very interesting because this has got a drive unit on that side and another one on the other side. And so those two 8 inch units with a thousand watt amplifier can produce a huge amount of sound and go down very, very deep in the bass. Um, 
This came out last year and it's £2,000. So, still very expensive, but it's also got electronics in it to allow you to match that perfectly with certain surrounds, not only certain surround sound, but also stereo systems with it as well. Okay, so that's the thing about different subwoofers, different prices. How difficult can it be? How do one of these things actually work? This is a speaker drive unit. This bit goes forward and back. Back behind that, you have a huge magnet. And in between that, you put the signal in here into a coil, put the signal through the coil, and this bit moves back and forward. So, when you have a huge, huge drive unit, it can produce very deep bass sound and only move a little bit. Whenever you go to something that's much smaller like this or like these, it has to move a lot further to produce that. And can it actually produce the deepest bass that the big, big drive unit can? Well, that's an interesting question. We're gonna get you the figures for what these can actually do. But first of all, we'll talk about what KEF have done here, because the new, new, new uh, subwoofer they've done is like this, playing forward and back. And you can see how something like that, playing forward and back, can fit into a cabinet like this. But frankly, that's about as small as you would think that would be possible to do. So what they've done is they've got two different sizes of the, of the uh, coils in this, and they're over one another. So one's inside the other, playing in both directions. And that means that the entire subwoofer can be that size. A 10 inch cube is the, sign, is the total size of this subwoofer. Now the reason why I'm not showing you one of these actual subwoofers is they've just been announced. I've seen the photographs, I've seen the webinar, I've seen all the technical information, but I don't physically have one here yet. By the time this goes on YouTube, we will have the pictures of it, so you will be able to see what it looks like. But uh, actual supplies are going to be middle of February before this is actually shipping. And then we'll maybe do a little one just summarizing what's happening with this. The thing about this is having a box this size in your house, for most people is ridiculous. This is maybe possible, but something like this to be ultimate quality and to go really deep and do that is completely groundbreaking. And so we'd be very interested to get these into the shop and get playing with them. It may well, uh, may well be we might use two of them in a room or something like that. So this is an interesting one to talk about. And this is called KC62. No idea what that means, but let's look at what these different things can do. So you want to know how low these things can go and also how loud they can go. And that's measured in what's called a minus three dB point. And obviously the smallest one is the one that will, uh, with the one single drive unit, won't go as low as a huge massive one like this. So this from a small box is pretty amazing that that can go to 30 hertz. Because you'd think 30 hertz, the limit of hearing is 20 hertz, 30 hertz, that's very, very good. And so for that, it's 600 pounds to do that. That's pretty amazing. Here, you're not paying much more money and it's an enormous, enormous, enormous subwoofer. So that will actually go down further than that. That one will go down to 23 hertz. Now, 23 hertz is very, very good, but you've got an enormous box sitting in the corner of your room. Whenever you look there at what Kef did with this monstrous, huge thing, a thousand watts and an 18 inch drive unit, it's fantastic. Because it can go to 15 hertz. 15 hertz is below what you can hear. You can feel it, possibly, if there's actually a soundtrack of a movie that's got something like that. But 15 hertz is absolutely incredible. So what we're left with then is Kef's push pull thousand watt and the new one. What do you think they might go down to? Well, that's so much smaller than that. Surely it can't be anywhere near that. Well, that one goes to 11 Hertz. It can go right down to 11 Hertz from its thousand watt amplifier. And so the new one 
the new teensy little one. Corner of your room for your stereo system or your surround sound. What would that do? Well, this is probably the most amazing thing of all because it also goes to 11 hertz from a box that size. And that is absolutely unheard of in anything in the subwoofer world. So you can understand I'm really looking forward to getting hold of one of these and uh, selling some, playing them, installing them in people's rooms. So whenever we've got all the photographs, we'll get those loaded up. And sometime after lockdown, when the shop is open again, you can come in and have a listen to them. Demonstration rooms all set up with surround sound system. There's no problem doing all of that. And by that time, when we come out of lockdown, you might even find I get my hair cut and we're not just looking as uh, uh, bohemian when all that's done. But for now, please subscribe to our channel if you want to hear more talk about hi-fi. We'll also have another hi-fi video following after that. And then we'll be back into music videos very soon. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. Keep safe.